But so I, what I've been looking at, there's other people that I'm working with that are looking at, um, you know, markers of inflammation, mm-hmm. glucose response, like all the me- metabolic parameters. I'm specifically looking at um, people's damage to their DNA. So like we get white blood cells and they're frozen down. And then I look at the DNA and the white blood cells and see how much damage there is. I do it at baseline, so before they start the blueberry powders, and these people have a lot of damage because they're obese. Obesity accelerates damage to DNA. Damage to DNA causes all sorts of problems, but eventually it leads to cancer. Um, and people that are obese have like a twofold increased risk of multiple cancers. There's this ridiculous article that I read where it's talking about the positive benefits of being overweight, where, where people were trying to justify being overweight, <clears throat> and they were... Um, Talking about there's uh, certain uh, illnesses that people recover from better if they're they're overweight and they were there's very a few very strange examples they were using to try to justify being overweight and um, and it was also uh, the the article was also impartially in response to quote unquote fat shaming you know and I'm like boy this is just such a weird justification it's so bizarre that. Your, your very biology, your very, the thing that gets you through life, that people are so intent on receiving mouth pleasure, which is all it is. I mean, that's what you're doing. You're shoveling food in your mouth. You're getting mouth pleasure, and then you're getting the response, the, the physical response to you know, whatever sugars or anything that you, you, you know, your, your body and your gut bacteria are craving. But so, so much into it that you're broadcasting it in the form of this like, really misleading article that was just designed to make you feel better for being overweight and to justify these choices that you've made, which are terrible, terrible choices. Like there's no benefit whatsoever to being overweight, right? No. I mean, being overweight, um, being overweight is, is linked to increased risk for cardiovascular disease, increased risk for type 2 diabetes, increased risk for cancer, increased risk of stroke, increased, you know, it's, it's increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. It's, yeah. So, I mean, having an increased risk for all of those age-related diseases is not good. I mean, there's not a bunch to mention of dumb articles written this. about the positive benefits of being overweight. I haven't seen those. You see if you can find some of that, Jamie. That's... It's it's just people that are fat that are just trying to use confirmation bias and lock into whatever small weird statistic might exist in regards to like maybe they get over like a cold better or something. It's like re- it's really dumb. Actually, obesity actually starts to cause um, immunosenescence because and and problems with your immune system because people that are overweight or obese uh, they they have a lot more inflammation in their mm-hmm. body and inflammation takes a lot of energy. Yeah, here it is. Five surprising health benefits of being overweight. Being overweight carries a reduced risk of rheumatoid arthritis. It's because your your joints are all greased up. I'd like fat. to see the references on that. Because yeah. <laughs> Being overweight means you're less likely to develop dementia. Being overweight can make a stronger immune system. Yeah, see, that's one of the things that I had read. Like, what? No, is it these are not true. To be, hold on. Is it possible to be fit, healthy, and fat? To be fat staffarian? What? What does that mean? Fat staffian? What is that? What is that word? To protect your body from possible harm, rendering potential problems harmless even before incursion. To explain on a slightly more plain level, the cytologists are proposing that your extra bulk works like a blubbery barrier. Indeed, the big man, Danny Ross, who was stabbed. Well, that's different. That's someone who was stabbed. Someone who <laughs> fell 20 feet. And Lawrence Bell, who's like, blah, 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 are p- p- portly poster boys for the defensive qualities of flab. But that's ridiculous. That's like, that's like wearing armor. You know, you're talking about someone like, yeah, physically, if you're that, stop moving that around, please. If you, if physically, if you have like all this extra fat in your body and something hits you, yeah, you've, you've got like a wall between you, your actual organs and your, your bones and this, you know, this impact. That's so stupid though. Being overweight is linked to increased longevity and recovery time. What? No, no, it's not. Scroll down, Jamie. It's not. What, it's actually what are the opposite. Is it okay to to fat shame overweight men? Make that larger, please. Kit notes that fat tissue, as well as hormones it releases, improves bodily defense mechanisms by providing vital energy reserves and anti-inflammatory agents. As a result, despite overweight individuals being more susceptible to serious health issues to begin with, they are less likely to die from them than those who are underweight or even with healthy BMIs. 
Heart disease, for example, is four times more likely to claim the life of somebody with a healthy BMI than an individual considered overweight. This is horseshit. It is. This is not it's absolutely obvious. There's no studies. Is, is this not, the onion? Is this a farce? No, no. What is the web, what is the website? The, the Telegraph. Telegraph. But there's a couple other articles too. This is just the one I figured would have the. Okay, scroll points. scroll down a little further. Being overweight can mean you're better in the bedroom. Oh, shut the fuck up. This is a fat guy. Fat guy wrote this. Hormones found in abdominal fat allow men to last longer in the bedroom. Bullshit. I'd like to see the references for any there's of these statements because actually it's quite the opposite. Being overweight, being obese, it's associated with seven years off your lifespan. Extremely obese is 14 years off your lifespan. Um, obesity is the number one risk pe- factor for, you know, heart disease and type two diabetes. Yeah, I mean, what does that mean? It's, it's, the, the idea that you can connect all those things and say that there's some sort of a positive benefit to being fat—that's clickbait bullshit. That's yeah. what that is. Yeah, but, there's there's very strong evidence of everything, the opposite of what you just read. Yeah, like. Like, I just don't even, I, I really just don't even know where they, that came from. Maybe some crappy associative studies that were done. But I mean, the large body of, of the literature shows the opposite. But isn't overweight. that conf- 